just gotta make sure that my lights work. Hello, hello. All right. We are in business. All right. So. <laughs> Last time on Prey, I did some narration of some text logs and tried to interact with an apartment, something resembling how a person would attempt to in any capacity other than chucking things everywhere. <laughs> but uh, then I found out, hmm, I, I was in some messed up simulation being experimented on, which you know, isn't cool. And, uh, messed up aliens just, you know, start sucking people dry. Then, you know, also not good, but, you know, something called, uh, January wants to help me out. Or actually, I think it wants to help me out. Yeah, it wants something. And we're gonna find out what that is. And also, I injected something into my eyeball and it gave me the power to chuck things. And I think going with how I interacted with my apartment earlier, I think that's only fitting. But uh, yeah, let's uh, start this off. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just chuckling and seeing a kitty cat just running up against a little table. Yeah, I'm glad I dis r decided to test out my mind. <laughs> uh, just like me going through all the effort of, you know, narrating those, uh, things. well, I can read them again if I want, like, later. Because in the video, I do, like, have it open long enough as I was giving my my reading. So I'm like, you know, if you can read them if you want, but also, I guess, later, maybe with some time, I can do a whole narration if I want to. But it was a lot about, you know, the Fermi paradox, about uh, a bit about biology, and a bit about the neuromods that you can eject in your eyeball and get cool powers and things. Oh, and on, also that happened. That sounds bad. Um, let me check out. Ah, uh, right, here's the Nora mods, by the way. Eventually, I'd love to. Well, I may want. Yeah, I probably want to get some like this specifically because it has this weird. Uh, upgrade of being able to get more from <laughs> recovering organs from the typhoon remains, and those are the names of the, the weird alien critters that I've been fighting. And apparently they can be recycled for exotic material, which could be used to make more neuromods, which, you know, sounds pretty tight. Uh, and it has some neat things like med uh, because like eating food and gives you a buff that gives you some extra healing over time. And so that you know it's just you're better at healing, but also there's hacking. But I think I I know definitely I want to get this. Just lift anything that isn't bolted to the floor and throw objects even further. Your brute strength can be <laughs> applied to force open an unpowered door. Like hell yeah. And probably some of this, you know, they'll just fix various things, especially since I'm playing with uh, some of the survival options. So yeah, that'd probably be a good place to start, but is there, I know there's some other fun ones. Oh yeah, the reduced stamina costs for the wrench attacks. Wrench attacks deal more damage. Attacking with a wrench has a chance to do bonus damage. Um, uh, conditioning. This is probably what I want to get at some point increase your health and your stamina, you just move faster, and then I probably want to get this 
I just want to be able to be incredibly speedy. And, like, you know, I'm fighting all these monsters, and, like, you know, I, 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 you know, I know this game has, like, normal-ass guns, but I mean, like, why not just become my own monster where I just kind of pick up items and just chuck them at aliens, you know? Like, here. I need leverage too. I hate that. What's up? Don't mind me. Oh, it can talk. Attention. Station leader What's up, nerd? That Typhoon were first discovered when Mimics damaged the Soviet satellite, Verona 1. Huh. Well... That's where I want to... Oh, I'm cool with that. Also... Come on. Nineteen sixty three, a top secret cold war. Uh, let me just eat a bunch of junk. Negotiation culminates nineteen sixty four. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. Okay, I'll, I'll read that later. I have something to kill, and I accidentally crouched. Yeah, that's uh yeah, I need the necrop necropsy uh upgrade to be able to harvest that best. 
that uh, extra organ, which, you know, um, I guess a recap. Oh, hey, there's a JFK. Um, as a recap from last stream, like, we woke up thinking that we were, like, on Earth in our apartment, getting ready to go, you know, do some testing, get on the uh, space station. Oh, hey, another neuromod. And, uh, what ended up actually happening... Wrong button. Uh... Let me just do a munch. Uh, what ended up happening is that we were on the space station for, like, about a year? Okay. Um, sorry, that was distracting. Anyway, for about a year, and apparently we agreed to just have our, uh, our brain kind of annihilated, not annihilated, but, uh, yeah, have, you know, experimental neuromods installed and uninstalled repeatedly. The thing is, though, if you uninstall a neuromod, it basically gets rid of all the memories related to, from, like, like, basically, as and after that happens. Oh. Also, uh, Noah, I, I kind of blew it myself, but if you're not willing... You know, to make some sacrifices... I... If you're not willing <laughs> to make some sacrifices... Ah, <laughs> uh, what was I even trying to say? Um, yes. If you remove Neuromod, it erases your memories up to the point of that happening, so we were put in, like, a weird simulation. Like, not like a VR kind of deal, but like, we were put in, like, a fake apartment to just repeat the same day over and over again with a different Neuromod, like, installed. And it was a, uh, thing. And what's my suit integrity? A... It's the funny sec number. Anyway, shotgun sim. Oh, uh, sci hi bow. I think that sounds cool. Spare parts. Oh, that. It took a lot of hits. Dismantle. anything with it yet, but... But, yeah... Um, this mental ability required? probably makes the most exciting of streams. I should probably do that some other time, but, um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> just <laughs> me just trying to tell a story while also just getting annihilated by everything around me while I was trying to see if I could repair anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was messy. 
Um, so Harry's account of the evacuation day one. Hmm. I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some uh, cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were from, but they were just bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of jets were echoing off buildings, but we, uh, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the siren started. I, I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a base, uh, basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched it, while I watched it turn into glitter without a sound, it was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Uh... God, there's so much. There's so much that was going on right now. Oh, and these were the original Nermods. Edit. Installed into your spine. And uh, here's where we are. Tala Station. It does look nice. And the psychoscope. Hmm. Now let's um In memory of John F. Kennedy, nineteen seventeen. 2031. Huh, apparently in uh, this game, John F. K John F. Kennedy lived uh, over a hundred years. No, I'm reading that. Am I reading that? No, yeah, 1917. Yeah, no, that's over a hundred. Wow. Uh, let's find... Okay, something's still alive. And I'm not... <laughs> Specifically because it's some sort of critter, and also, um, we gotta poke at things. Oh, I need four. Okay. Uh, repair, fix fabricators, recyc uh, recyclers, spare parts, system use fill parts, re uh, repair, damage weapons. I probably want that, but increase your health, stamina. A whole lot of small benefits, but pretty good. And hacking. Uh, oh, there's a. Anyone in chat with an idea? Uh, then, uh. Here, I mean, hacking is good, but. Wait, I need three to be able to hit better with a wrench? Um, no, and since I did do the survival mode, you spell parts to repair damage weapons. I feel like getting this isn't a bad idea. And it would be allow me to fix up things. And increase efficiency. And suit modification. Oh, extra inventory space. Uh, dismantle. Alright, now what? Yeah, this seems like a good fit for me anyway. Nope. Oh. <sighs> Hacking's real good. Hacking is real good. No, there's. No, I'll be able to get.
All right, I'm pretty sure nothing's here is a, is a mimic, or else it would have been upset. And also, we can just you know pick flowers for reasons. Right, Good morning, well. Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos One. Dr. Debris promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. <laughs> Delightful. I'm sorry. And if uh, you haven't seen the last uh, stream, this is what happens to a person if those little mimics have their way with them. Oh. Uh, thanks, buddy. Care. That's a character sheet. Can I get in? Character name Captain Stabfellow, <laughs> Fatal Fortress. Oh, nice. This is a reference to an older arcane game, Arc Fatalis, which you know translates into Fatal Fortress. Strength 17, int 6, dex 15, and con 15, or er, 14. Uh, weapons, longsword, heavy crossbow, dagger. Uh, those are the skills also from Arcs Talos that I don't... I played a little bit of it. I'd love to stream it at some point, but uh, I don't remember what all that means. But yeah, definitely a fighter. Uh, uh, can I get in there? I don't think so, but I met a new friend. You're coming with me, little buddy. We're gonna see the world. And you're going to protect me from my own bad decisions, as you should. Um, well, no, I, I have that quest marker to go see that, so I should. And then just come back and explore a little bit later. So. Oh, there's also stairs on that side. I should have taken hacking. Oh no. Okay, that's just key card. these kind of games. Oh, wait. 
have always have a reference to 0451. I believe it's because of the company Look, uh, Looking Glass Studios that uh, when they moved out and of their first office and started making, uh, I believe it might have been Thief or something like that. They like uh, an old room. Oh, here's security. Uh, old like side room or not side room, like side door had the uh, key or not the, the password request. Sorry, little buddy. Uh, watch my back. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6 online. But uh, yeah, um, what are they talking about? Oh, uh, exploring. No, great. I completely lost track of. Looking Lost Studios, they had a, a door with a, a keypad that you had, or like a lock or something that was zero five, uh, zero four five one. And yeah, I know a lot of games inspired by them have like had that somewhere all over the place. But um, the security escort from Alex Yu, which is Morgan Yu, your player character's brother, to Sarah Elazar. You probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident, and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely, if necessary. Use discretion. C good call, bro. Um, something's on the station. Hey, ma'am? You know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy, like you know who. I'm sending this because just after the alert, I heard someone in the heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out. Because I'm starting to think there's something on the station that we don't know about. Security officer, Elias Black. And, uh... Please add uh, Mikahala Elution to the watch list. She's currently performing her duties. Her condition makes her a potential security risk, and we need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her anywhere near the labs. Also, flag in communications between her and Dr. Galios. Galagos. Galagos? I, look, I'm, I grew up in Spanish-speaking household. Galeos. Galegos. Um, out of uh, psycho psychotronics. Medical's beginning to suspect she has white noise. So the fact that she falsified her records may be enough. Normally, I'd advocate Neuromod remover, removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me appraised. Fun times. Um, more from... Shitty asshole bro. Uh, Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing key card. This should be one of your highest prior priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. Alex. <gasps> oh, it's banged up, but... Okay. Now, earlier I was saying, why would you use a normal gun when you can chuck things, but chucking things... The beginning 
the first your first ability to chuck things isn't that hot, but this shotgun actually looks pretty tight. And I love that it's it's mostly like a normal ass shotgun, but just has like an LED ammo display. That is that's actually a nice little touch of you know, kinda blending the futuristic anyway, uh survivor's account of the evacuation, day two. I woke up, still in the street. An M35 truck was stopped near me, and the driver was yelling to, at me to get in. There were several people in the back already. Four or five soldiers and about a dozen civilians, including children. I got in the truck, and someone gave me a bottle of water. I asked what was happening, and soldiers just shrugged. I told them I had driven the M35 during my service. People in the truck were crying, and I looked back. The pink smoke was now mixed with gray and swirled high into the sky. There was so much of it, it seemed to cover the entire city. We kept picking up people until the truck was full. Before we got to the highway, we heard shooting. Soldiers climbed, climbed down and readied their weapons. The commander told me to drive the truck as far as possible to the west. Then they ran toward the shooting. Oh, damn. I feel like that probably doesn't have to do with messed up aliens, right? <laughs> uh, am I trapped in here? I should have gone hacking. Anyway, uh, can I drop that? No, I, I want to hold on to my lemon pill. Let me auto. Thank you, that's how I want to sort things. But, uh, uh, spare parts. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna invest in that. Dismantle results. Can I dismantle things yet? Now I need a uh, upgrade ability. Uh, thrown S4 tactical pump shotgun. It's designed to be used by security forces for maximum efficiency in close quarters. Firepower 41, unmodified. Looks like it could be upgraded. I need uh, a weapon upgrade kit, but yeah. Uh, power. Okay, that's the duration stun effects. It amplifies damage to robotic targets. Range shots. Charge rate. Yeah, no, I can't dismantle it yet. I'll save on to this for now. Let's eat some gluca glucosist. I guess. Okay. Oh, hey, a weapon upgrade kit. Wunderbar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I could just keep that with me. Just because... I mean, to be honest, that is a pretty nice set of dice. They... I don't know why, they look, like, heavy morning, for dice. Morning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. I was wondering if I'd have a map. B1, L1, L2, L3. Alright. Uh, map. Alright. Recycler, oper operator, dispenser, power kiosk, grab shift. Oh, there's a recycler. There. It may 
need to be locked. There's some doors. It, it, probably a lot, but. No life signs. Status. In the off station. Darcy. Medox. Security. Nominal. I, yeah, just Kevin. I'm not gonna play around. No life signs. Yep. I wish I could scroll with the right analog stick. Yeah, no, just. Oh, there's quite a few people still alive. still alive. Uh, I'll poke all this later. Help. Help, help, help. Now, Elias, anyone, please. Uh, Nils? Nils? Kajord? Kajord? A lot of security. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna use office keypad. We're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan ask us what the current code is, ask if it was requested, or if we choose it, and then ask for a new one. It's unusual. Last time she asked, I was right there. So I told her the code, and she gave me a blank look. A code we set up less than a week ago. Maybe she's testing a response time. Water fix my health. Take my buddy with me. Um, I mean, I know a way to get up there. It'd be really silly, but I could do it. And Lock submitted. Also, I'm just gonna quick save. <laughs> I I saw that and I just knew. But I have psychic I have psychic powers. Ah. I hurt myself with that. Come on. Ah. Weird. Let me bust this open. All right, fine. Oh. On earth did I I'm doing the very, you know, video game thing of just yanking everything off of people, but what on earth did I just grab? Derma web skin graft to heal burn trauma. Okay, that's sounds useful. And I don't know why I'm I'm hoping there's a reason why my character can just pick up petri dish samples. I'm guessing it has to do with uh, the material yield down there, but it's still just weird to see. And I mean, 
getting distracted again. I need to go up there anyway. Foam darts? Replayer. Not strong enough yet to uh, check that around. Get. Let me actually have a gun. Uh, kind of banged up. No, I don't like you. I'm dead. Should actually use a gun. That strange idea. If you think a weapon. <sighs> Alright, shotgun. Unfortunately, gonna have to use you and also probably uh Methuselah. Apple. Contact is 
I don't like that red inside. Um, can I see what conditions I'm under? Oh, okay, it's status. Suit damage. Yep. Third degree burns. Ah. Alright, let's... Let's just slam dunk. Medkit. <laughs> what? Thanks. I'm, I'm happy I could complete a mission game. Um, what was... I mean, with mission, get annihilated. Oh, you know what? This kind of game, you're expected to, you know... Corpse of whatever. And a whole bunch of weird... Did they have jelly at ale? Jelly at ales. Huh. Also, I should check my wrong thing. Objectives. Oh, the view. Where's the trauma center? Uh, what? Uh, she, okay. Show completed. I have a cure. Okay. I managed to recover from my trauma. Okay, because I'm playing on survival. There it is. Okay. Thankfully I didn't explode that biohazard waste I can just keep in my pocket. Did I just steal her organs? Why or did 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 Lucia just have Biohazard waste in her pockets. Like, did I? What? What did that? I, you know what? Whatever. Let's just let's just ch take all the weird things and just you know deal with the consequences of uh, my sins. I was hoping. Uh, I'm smoking. Sip of water. Quarantine. Sci hypo. Turn on some sinks. Oh, yeah, might as well exhaust my surging. I like that sound. Being mind controlled. Uh, no, wait, let's just. Look. Uh, subject Trevor J. Young, date 02 2035. Subject appears disor disoriented, paranoid, not sure how much of a current behavior is due to the incident versus his recent neuromod removals. Recommended continue observation. Matthias Cole. Mind controlled, huh? That'd be, yeah, that'd be an awful idea to let him out if I can't deal with uh, uh, mind control. You know? That, yeah. Oh, so perp. Porp. I'm playing. Uh, how's it? How's it hanging? There's a mind controlled man with weird shadow things coming out and like affecting his head. It re <laughs> that's real bad. <laughs> and uh fighting uh wait. Let me drop some plants. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, 
Please inform your immediate supervisor. Let's see here, Lance. Uh... Requesting new operator. I'm not gonna punch. <laughs> Transfer oh. pyramid. You are now zero medical class operator ready. To Diagnosing: No trauma or illnesses detected. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you unless you're interested in medical trivia or a joke. No, no thank you, Doctor Robot. Um, third class. You're a mod. <laughs> Let me drop some garbo. Um, banana pills. Sorry, banana pills. I have, uh, I have stuff to junk, slam dunk into my brain. That's more important than uh, banana pills. Uh, actually, I can just pop it right now. Yeah, let's install. Um, I was just lamenting not being able to hack earlier, but also I would wish to be able to get some mental things. But I think hacking uh, fabricators and recyclers. Yeah. Um, more health and stamina. I mean, ultimately that's what I want. But something tells me having having a little bit of. Uh, Hacking would help with that. Then again, be a little bit healthier and beefier and a bit faster is also nice. Sneaking or crawling, very sneak, sneak attacks. Uh, this would also help, honestly. Now, there's a lot of things I want, but. Um, yeah, I think having a little bit of hacking wouldn't it hurt. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Tradition. I mean, I keep running into danger, so being able to heal better would also help, but... No, yeah, I think... A little bit of hacking would help me a lot later, potentially. You know what? I'll just sit on it because I could, if I get an find another one that can allow me to have more items on my person, which is also good. And uh, what's this? White noise excerpt from White Noise: Receptions of In Perceptions. Hendrin Rigo. Here we go. More often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim's eyes. White noise isn't just a medical condition, and it's more than the wild, almost witch doctor like claims of, a, of psychic ability. Dr. Deo Igwe. Anyone? It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never have a neuromod, nor can their brain be mapped. It's the end of everything that is about a person. Who is transfer to decide? Will we let them add a biological caste system to the human race? You know, that may sound like uh, weird things, which it is weird things. Oh, I need hacking three. <laughs> Fabrication plan. More... Um, yeah, okay. Um, but, you know, as I was just going over... Actually, you know, a good view of this is, oh, for the one, with one neuromod, mod, I'm able to do this. I can just psionically throw things around, which, I mean... System alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Oh, sorry, not... Let me just drink some soda. Um, you know, yeah, not being able to have a neuromod. mod... You know, it does feel like, like, you know, when a person can just buy the ability to just psionically throw things around, not being able to do that medically does seem like a kind of weird thing. Uh, Wade, please, 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 with a chair on top, fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. Goldcrest. 
fried hard drive. Spare parts. You know what? Is there anything... Um, material yield. Uh, plant orange X. I have quite a bit of... Do you have any... Volunteers. Uh, Freed wire. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, there's nothing cool up here. System alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Okay, not enough battery. Broken. Microwave. A banana? Why are there a banana in the microwave? What is this? Steins Gate? Um... Wait, did they do that Steins Gate? Or am I thinking of another fruit? Um... Anyway... That's not enough space. Yeah, no, I'm... System alert! Repair is needed! Too. Please contact right. a qualified... <laughs> Psionic E. Hmm... <laughs> I would love to repair you, but just have a little robot buddy. Another robot buddy to heal me in case the first one gets uh, annihilated. Oh yeah, but yeah, purple. Uh, you probably missed the fire alien, which is a shame. Secure pharmaceutical. Yeah, no, I need a key card for that. All right, but yeah, there is like a fire alien, and also um, the weird thing about them. Is... Oh, wait. Uh, is that... Oh, about a bunch of these aliens. That they kind of talk. It's like they have memories of the people that used to be or something. Because the mimics will just bleed a person dry, but I'm, like, wondering. What? Hello. Woof. You're telling me psionically eating a chair that fast, that far, doesn't break clock. I can't get through. What? Let me through. That's just blinds. And now I'm tired. Now let me look up what the status is, because there's no exhausted. Oh, come on. It's... You know what? Can I... Can I... Crouch. Let me crouch. Let me get through. <laughs> come on, game. I can... Morgan, I can crouch through that. Like, my real life self could probably crouch under that. Let me... Or, like, I would struggle a bit, but, I mean, I'm not too pressed for time. Let me... Fine. Is there a way above? Because this is a game that very much rewards you by uh, going above things, anyway. Oh, wait. Where's my... Let's go to the top. See if there's anything there. Hurt. Wrenches are are no what the wrench is so good that it literally takes um, fucking three neuromods to be able to reduce the cost with it, and then eight total to be able to get to just the wrench does more damage. The wrench is good. It's just. Um, I don't know how to survive against fire, currently. Ah, trauma center. Okay. Nice. Uh, to do five check. Uh, right, which may seem excessive, but like, there's little mimics everywhere, so like, screw that. Volunteer attitude. John Haskins to uh, Bianca Goodwin. 
Uh, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated. More than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head and if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When we get, uh, when you get up here, the key code is 3894. Hey, the code to your office is 0451. Number. Oh, that's where that is. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Meeting Gustav. Uh, Deo Igwe to Bianca. Uh, Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there's no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and we may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca, tell us one volunteer and guest liaison. From Dr. Deo Igwe. Uh, to follow up previous requests, I was wondering if there had been any updates to Gustav Littner's visit. Uh, if it's still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I'd love to have a chance to meet him before the neural mapping procedures, if possible. Okay. Uh, yeah, he showed up quiet and polite. He shook Littner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. Uh, Helen Croft to Bianca asked him to sign an album he he's brought. Littner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. His fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. And uh, in case you missed it, another thing with the neural mapping, the neural mods, is that, like, you know, the, the, he's like, oh, I want, you know, this, like, dude that he wants an album from, or a signature from, and all that, like, um, you know, basically, if you get, neuro like, your brain scanned, and then mapped to a, a thing, uh, upload to like a neuro mod or whatever like anyone else can just plug that in well you had to stab it in your fucking eye but you know theoretically most people would be able to just plug that in and be able to then play directly like him uh how can the subjective nature of my experience my inner life be explained in scientific terms uh yep fundamental Staff, please move these remaining boxes. New office. All right. The brain was considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell pave the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubes of neurons. Rad. But yeah. Oh. Game. One email. I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after you celebrate our success. Oh, from Morgan U to. So we're bombing, yeah, that's us. Okay, there wasn't anything neat up there. Hey, Robit. Um. Good job. Target, no type and material detected. Anyway, let's get into our office. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The oh. video should be on your workstation. Um, there's a lot of glowing things that I want to poke, but let's watch a video. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan requested. It's in your safe. Teleconferencing. Oh, three neurons? For real? Alright. And I know my own password. Utilities. Watch me. 
picture or alone play. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a Neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance mm. to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Oh. You made it. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. I still don't know what. Oh, excellent. Oh, uh, what happened? I put it behind me. There's no reason we can't still be civil. me in the hall today and you look through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Oh. Oh. We had a- we had a- <laughs> Oh, we had an ex-girlfriend, apparently. And, you know, our brain being fried didn't help with that. <laughs> anyway. As requested, your terminal logs are sent to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters and the supplies and hardware set up. Let me know if they get there uh, to you all, right? And, and if not, we'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort inside your office. Jeez. Hey. hey. Upgrade kits. Upgrade kits. Let's poke the cobalt thing right here. Fabricator. Operator dispenser. I'll take that. Cubes. Wrench! I can build more wrenches. Do the wrenches get uh, degraded? I know a lot of things do. Oh! Okay. You can upgrade a wrench. Fabricator. Why would you infinite light this is? Uh, two plant, one gray, one. Oh, okay. Oh. Sweet. I want that. Let me... Oh. Uh-huh. Oh Place items in the bin. Uh. 
transfer junk. Sunburst banana pudding. A bowl of creamy banana pudding made from Starburst bananas in Transstar Kitchens. Nice. Let me pick up some junk. Recycling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that, that's pretty great. Uh, no, I, I very much don't want that. Is honestly really neat. But a uh, glue canister, that's pretty easy. Not um, too far, too fast from commercialization of the space program. Oh, yeah, I forgot to go back to read the little alternate history deal. I'll go back there in a second. Uh, J.V. Edwards. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and, without his support, may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches herald the coming of, all, of an accelerated, energetic space program, both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term. Rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. Stay there. Thank you, Robin. Teleconferencing center. Um. What? Oh, yeah, I wanted to. Uh, you know what? I have. Excellently tap that. I have this now. I have forgot you can slide. Nothing in here is a mimic. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Oh, there's some uh, Z fighting over there. That's always fun. Interrogation techniques by Dr. Avalon Bear. The typical, um, the typical interrogation suspect portrayed by entertainment medium is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, entering into a verbal sparing match with the interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor rep rep representation of actual cases. It's important to note that the majority of suspects want to talk. Let them. Provide them some prompts, but only to keep the words flowing. Do not do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience in case studies back this has been that most people will move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. Disgusting. Anyway, uh, program requirements. Psychological risk. 
Oh, studies show that there is a significant likelihood of behavior conditions and psychological disorders emerging among the population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimalized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk, while including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. System alert. Repair Please contact a qualified engineer. Uh, for a in my lab and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on. But I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole. An immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Wonderful. Hi. Hostility sword may continue unabated. Distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distress. Some of her answers did lend uh, me a bit of insight. I might be able to use in future sessions and hopefully get her to open up more. Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Uh, forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting. Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Hmm. The novel exhibits relentless anger towards authority, generally, and the use spe uh, specifically. A few gentle questions sent here on a trial. Alert. Repair is needed. Uh, ended Please with her starting out the office. I'd be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos 1. And I'll look over the uh, emails. These here. psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? 
No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. Huh. Uh, this is interesting though. My suspicion is the Typhon can force be other beings to emphasize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this. Get them to em empathize with us. Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. You, you have my thanks. Heinz Kelstrup. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, this is weird. Um, if you can do this towards the beginning of the game... It's just weird just seeing it again. System alert. Just like a weird psych evaluation. Let me get one of these. System alert. Here is Nick. Please contact a qualified engineer. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Oh. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you. I didn't like how you said that. Diagnosing. Good. No trauma or illnesses detected. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. Unless you're interested in medical trivia. Or a joke. Okay. here. Um, world is kind of my oyster at this point, but I'm kind of corpse in the trauma center. Okay. Here's trauma center. I'm looking for a corpse. Hello. Nice to see you. Don't like your voice. Okay, that's a workshop. Oh, okay. Contact a qualified engineer. Okay, um, there should be a map. Yeah. Operator dispenser. And my objectives through a glass darkly. Optional. No map. Okay, so it should still be here somewhere. It's probably in the room I can't get to. Hello. Nice to see you. There is a corpse in this game. Chief Surgeon. Okay. Alright, I'll do that later. Wrong button. I guess I'll focus on...
those bandages. Um. Oh. Find that later. Oh, wait, no. No, no. I am keep getting distracted with things. Uh, let's go up to that uh, office if I can. There a way for me to Scanning no alien material detected. Could be silly. And uh do this. Get to the other side. IT security. Hacking one required. Leverage come on. Actually, uh, I have four neuromods now. The world is now. Oh, leverage. Mm. <sighs> Tempted. Dismantle. Break down equipment inventory and spare parts. Recover spare parts from destroyed operators. Uh, it's tempting. I'm gonna just move faster, which would be nice. Yeah, I think I'll get some hacking, maybe. Maybe. I. I kind of want to chuck things around, though. <laughs> ah, no, I'd, I'll. Suit modification. Uh, fix broken turns, operators, and electrical junctions. No, I think I'll get dismantled for now. It's kind of a boring choice, but I think I'll do well. And, you know what? I'll keep that other one in my uh, back pocket. Oh, nice, I have quite a bit of spare parts. Um, repair. Let's. Uh, okay, that. Okay. Yeah, one does a uh, pretty good amount. I feel like, for now, my shotgun is my, uh, kind of best tool for just straight out assaulting things. Cells division. Oh, that's outside. Oh, the about us. <laughs> See, like, oh, can I smash this uh, window? But that would be a terrible idea. IT security. You know what? It's right here. And... Uh, not... Alright, actually, before uh, data... Email, audio logs, key. Password, key codes, volunteer quarters, quarantine, key cards, teleconference. Oh, yeah, there was teleconferencing. I didn't go there. Ah! That! Why did you have shotgun shells on you?
Leverage three, okay. More anti security. No, wait, let me do something real quick. Um, no, uh, it'd be menu. Unfavorite? It's already. Ah, uh, sign. Don't I have fucking upgrade bits? Yeah, I should probably upgrade the shotgun. I think that doesn't sound like a bad idea. I feel like I'll be able to get more of these later. Wait, now it actually before I. Oh, hey, it's a recycler. Nice. Um... with a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> That's my excuse. Um. Nice. Okay. I do want... I Good morning, no, Talos. I, I, As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Inter um, International Art, Talos Edition. This uh, Transfer Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create works exclusively for Talos One, the orbital research and developmental facility that was brought us, the Neuromod, and many other technological wonders. A renowned Bul uh, Bulgarian sculptor, Frederick S Smart, sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. The installation artist, simply known as Jesse, constructed the chain of marbled glass panels, which soared gracefully overhead in the Talos One lobby. And former street artist, uh, Patrick O. Oh, designed a series of exclusive posters for Transstar featuring impressions of orbit, eclipse, and other celestial themes in his signature geometric style. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Transstar President Alex Yu commented, Art inspires, fires our creativity, makes us look beyond our present circumstances to what might be possible. Nice. Put the stove in there. And makes more cubes. <laughs> okay, I think I'll probably want to get the Increase my stamina just because I like thwacking things, but uh. Okay, what on earth is my status? Okay, it went away quickly enough. On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. 
Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. No, I guess comment on it while I'm thinking about it, but I honestly really like the uh, the mechanic of you know being able to collect junk that's explicitly junk. That's the sole purpose of being able to just do it, and then getting the little cubes or orbs or whatever. No, can I not just blow that? Okay, fine. Be that way. Oh, the prison of my own creation. John. I mean... What? Okay, I didn't die. I am honestly surprised. And also, I forgot I had a flashlight. Punch on random. Nonsense. Buddy. You know what? Let's actually take care of this. Ready to scan. 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kretka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030, Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. Alright, so that is the history brief that I missed out on. I could get hacking, and that would be the smart thing to do, but I want to move fast. Just, just a little bit faster, is all I ask. And a little bit more health and stamina doesn't hurt. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yes, the workshop. Can 
I get this? Okay, I didn't break my I did I Okay, I didn't break my robot buddy. Hell yeah. Time with Debug build version zero point seven. And of course I have too much stuff on me. Um, let's eat some noodles. Dry noodles. Six. An integrated noise suppressor. Firepower 8. Eh. Maybe I don't want this. You know what? Maybe I don't want this. Um, Spiral light cookies. That's not uh, a way I can get into. Nah, uh, yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, it's all up here. The sales division. Then uh story stuff. You know what? Let's continue the story a little bit before I get distracted again. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Can I? 
can you do anything with these? Just split. Okay. Um, I have a lot of organic matter. Spare parts. The suit's still doing pretty good. Okay, so I can't. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. Let's go to the next area. Yeah, yeah, I can come back to places, so that's fine. Hey, uh, perp. If you're still watching, uh, -huh. have you ever played Prey before? Just kind of wondering. Uh, if you know, if you know what's up, because I have some idea of some things that go on in this game. But yeah. But yeah, gosh, now I'm kind of disappointed that, like, throwing things didn't really work out too well. I mean, I still have a chance to uh, upgrade just chucking things everywhere, but I decided to play with uh, some of the survival aspects. I was like, you know, being able to actually repair my stuff more. Hello. Um. Hey, cat. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. Alright. That's fair. Ah. Article Stairways to Heaven. Early United States dominance of the first operated uh, operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch-up. The World Union of Space Industry, Wuxi, has collaborated that using, uh, calculated that using the stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risk for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, Wuxi has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space page squatting. Lovely. And I need hacking too to get in here. Wrench. Uh, you're my only hope from Nikki T Tanner. 
Hey, I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a, a bottle of old Sardar. Join us? Demo display. Franklin, good. Uh, just a heads up that the Atrax propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We're still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop, That's, but it's nothing to worry about. This second part uh, too far too fast, and then Johnson's term came to the end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even though the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled at the lack of advancement that the space had seemed to promise, the Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar similar, uh, similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had also successfully prevented the U.S. involvement in Vietnam, that focused on solving problems at home. <clears throat> and also, apparently, in this uh, fiction, the United States didn't get involved in, uh, in the uh, Vietnam asteroid fragment. Sounds good to know. Can I drop? Let's drop a cigar. Oh yeah. Hmm, I can't seem to do anything. There's a simpler way to do this. Okay. Fine. Can it stick on there? Okay, and that should be... Alright. That's it. That took some, uh, thumb. Since he admired you. Unfortunate. Some vibe. Oh, and my batteries are low. That's good now. Now, how much does my suit? Twenty-eight. 
25 damage. Morgan, the new the new replier. Ah, uh, Dr. Thornton. I just wanted to write you personally. Thank you for the new replier. I know some people have been waiting uh, been on waiting list to get one of these, but it was just a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. I feel it's, uh, it is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you can spare one of your energy ears for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Thanks, Dr. Deo Igwe. Um, on to clear a Morgan request again. Back from Clive Lawrence. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there, as if not sure where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked for uh, more operator parts. I asked if the last ones were sent uh, hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean no offense, but Morgan's requisition, requisition enough to repair any operator in station five times over now. And we have other operators that need maintenance. Clive. All I know is shadows and pew pew. It's <laughs> never taken a while for that, but yep. Uh, projects. Q-Beam. Recycler charge. That's a black box. Space being space. Looking glass. Uh, APS. Artrax propulsion system. Calibration testing. Glue cannon. And this is a glue cannon, by the way. It's real good. And periodic table. I keep accidentally pressing that button. I really love the shotgun. It's just such... It's... Like, you know, a lot of things have kind of retro-futuristic design on them, but the shotgun... Hey! You stop that. <laughs> it just ran past me. <laughs> But yeah, you know, but the shotgun, you know, it looks like a normal pump shotgun. But, uh, as that looks like, uh, kind of aftermarket, like, hey, let's slap on a, uh, Stronger, yet stronger, to carry these cargo containers. Just cyanically eat them. Beam, beam charge, thank you. I'll gladly take that. Alright. That wasn't too exciting. Oh, yeah, didn't I get over there? Probably get to set up that first one a bit higher. Hey. Status. There's so many buttons in this game. Um, well, it's not that there's so many buttons, but there's a, well, kind of. There's a lot of buttons, and I kind of just want to. Like, lean side of things to be sneaky, which would be the smart way of doing it, but. I wait. That robot. 
it. Sounds angry. Oh yeah, I forgot that guy yeah, this whale as well. Yes, okay, I will. At first, like, no, what? maybe focusing on leverage isn't a good idea, but I can toss a fucking refrigerator at people. Of course, I need to invest in it. Um, cooking with cauliflower? <laughs> okay. Uh, renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cau uh, cauliflower can be substituted in many traditional recipes to boost the nutrition payload without compromising on flavor. Fox m mashed potatoes? Sounds awful. Pizza crust, cauliflower rice, pellets, and more. But if you're looking to maximize the health benefits of this dimple delicacy, then steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple variety if you really want to add in a, a blast of color to your plate. <sighs> Keep just jacking so much nonsense. Death with wrench. You stop that. <laughs> yep. This man told me his wings. Uh, menu. A sign. There. Favorite. Um, repair. You know what? I do love this thing. I have 15 now. Uh, repair once. And there, yeah, that's good. Now let me pick up this garbage that I just laid at this dead woman's feet. Like some sort of animal. Um, ah, it's some animal. <laughs> no, I'm just like... Laws of Robotics, from the, the novel, explicitly about how if you create thinking things, that like... Hey buddy! Thanks, buddy. You. I wish I had a grenade. <laughs> like, like, oh, hey. I don't have enough. Oh, come on. Get out of there. And do I have enough for what I want? Okay, I only have one. Which isn't enough for what I want. And okay, it takes the two to get the extra boost. So I could make medkits better, or actually have some hacking. But I think I'll wait. No, I. Yeah, no, I, I need to keep an eye on the prize. And that prize is eating everything with a fury so pure. A 
fridge too. I think eventually I will get the physician upgrade. Just because I tend to eat food a lot. Because I'd rather save my medkits. Here's fear. <laughs> um, I have a lot of other things. Hello. Someone uh, made some stairs. and clears the hemorrhage the hemorrhage uh hemorrhage trauma. Uh that sounds incredibly useful. Uh asteroid fragment sounds cool. Whatever. I thought I had some brand new dish on me. That's two narrow mods. I could increase my suit capacity, but no I I want <laughs> Uh, I want to save up and be silly and just heat things everywhere if I can. Like, it won't be too hard for me to get up there. Okay, so I found the best weapon in the game. Or the best item in the game. Glad about that. Flashlight. Yeah. Okay, thirty meters that way. Seems to be a lot of the station or, tech starts good. here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. That's cool. Uh, 
my... has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. Did I kill it or did it leave? Good. fun with that. Alright, let's uh, move this room a bit. Alright, keep going. Also, this should have exploded. And now that's working. on electronics by working through a series of practical experiments this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics by the end you'll be able to construct any simple circuit as Tom Edison once said to invent you need a good imagination and a pile of junk That is a huge metal beam, so that's, okay, that's very fair that I need to be the strongest of the strong to, uh, handle it safely. charge. What? Uh, data. Oh, yeah, these are my, uh, plants. Research. Stats. Uh, cooking cauliflower. Uh, dangerous prototype device that tracks all objects within a short radius and recycles them into material fragments can be thrown or attached to surfaces. Oh. Distracted. Let's open up the uh, ballistics. Okay. Hello. 
slow. Is it open on the other side? Oh. Okay. to Lily Morris. Lily, I was testing recycler charge and something uh, 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 peculiar happened. I placed the usual source material into the chamber and it set off the charge. Mixed in with the, re with the result was something I've never seen before. A purple, almost organic looking substance. Maybe something contaminated the source material. I'm not sure how to proceed, so I placed the unidentified material in the safe for now. Recycler Charge Fab Plan. Lily, I've been informed you are in need of an updated Recycler Charge Fabrication Plan, so it just happens I have a spare plan in my quarters. Remind me before next shift, and I'll bring it down. Hey. Silly idea. Fried hard drives. Um, I mean, I would love it. it just take some fried hard drives, but uh, uh, copper, cobalt, glass, and a iron, yields, marble, cardboard. Oh, in memoriam, right holics. Date of incident, October 21st, 2034. Employee, Billy Mars. Description, a recycled charge went off with my foot in range. The organic material that was once a part of me is now neatly compacted into this sphere you see before you. Take heed. We can just take someone's foot. Like, that was a person's foot. Like, they, like they lost their foot. I mean... Now I, now I, now I, let's not just take someone's foot, let's, only a little bastards. I, I mean, the question is, the answer is yes I can, just, uh, uh, can I do it while you're still in the Oh, hey. No, it's outside. Alright, looks like I need some woods to, uh... Uh, maintenance log. Uh, maintenance crawl space, a leaky pipe, unexplained light flicker, uh, electrical device near the machine shot on the door, unstable. In case of an emergency, head to maintenance crawl space for a small access panel below to shut off local power. Notify me immediately. Uh, repair two. I mean. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, so it will just quickly burn through that if chance. Do I 
right click. this to an engine. Hmm. I'll feed this to engineering operator after you memorize it. Group workstation password. <sighs> Thanks. Uh, you win. To whoever gave uh, my gave dear Mr. Gluey McGlue's glue face arms, okay, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first, I thought the jelly ill hat could not be topped. Uh, topped. I stand corrected. Your triumph creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. What? Uh, hello. This is a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet key key code is yeah. If you take anything, please let me know. Glue test results. Specimen FHJ89C. Glue adhesion test. Test suspension uh, pre uh, preparation. The dimensions shall be optimized for small scale test chambers. Blah blah blah. blah. Seen still. Thoroughly coat specimen on sheet plates. <laughs> Met, uh, successfully with the currents of metal voice. Immediately transfer specimen to conditioning environment. Uh, cool. Oh. That's great. Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Later, Gluey McGlueface. There's another mimic somewhere. Fix an operator. Start. Apply impact calibration. Did it work? Yes. No? Try again. <laughs> Persuasive maintenance, aka hit it with a wrench until it works. Hi. Oh, you silly mad scientist, you. Too bad you're probably dead. I can keep uh, dismantling them for spare parts. I think that will be my best idea. To just dismantle them. Thaddeus York. What of a name? Uh, eyes and ears. Uh, from Jorgen. From the late Jorgen. Thaddeus, please keep an eye on Franklin. The men spend so far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here. I get it, but I'm worried he may uh, try to use a propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. 
Hey, this is uh, Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in their outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an autonomous turret. It was stashed in a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pathias facility. It may have been an uh, accident, but I don't know. But uh, one of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. You're in charge. Okay. Either feeling well enough presents latest looking glass tech digitizer, so I'll be away from the lab. I think work in order while well, now in case send the key code to my office. Cool. <laughs> Shelves. Everything cool on the other side? No. Now that I've thrown all the... Okay. Get it. Oh god, it's a lot. Are you, uh, is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. shop, which is nice, but I, <laughs> I just now realized that I've been completely forgetting to do what I wanted. Well, then again, I was kind of exploring everywhere.
Um, how many neuromods? Oh, okay, he's still only two. I saved my kingdom for an explosive container. How's this gun doing, by the way? Hey, but I should probably. No, I should probably increase that. Like... And, okay, I need lab tech. to have whatever the hell uses Q-beam cells. That'd be nice. Requesting new operator. Transgar Cobalt 410 Engineering Class Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Fills up my suit. And also it's a cobalt, apparently. Um. Hey. radioactive.
repair three for moon door. Telescope. But something's upset at me. Oh, hello. better at this game, but I still have a low amount of shotgun ammo, but, I mean, get the job done. Typhoon look? Oh. What junk can I get rid of? Experimental device developed in the psych psychotronics lab, which releases a psycholuminescent night light that attracts typhon organisms, can be thrown or attached to surfaces. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, the Starbender Cycle, Book Two: My Enemy's Enemy's Enemy. Give me a second. As the Mordrak um, excerpt from the book two of the Starbender Cycle by Fletcher Mc Mal Malvin Marvin. As a Mordrak scream flayer crumpled to the ground in front of her, Mercy flexed her fingers. They ached from all the choking. Trevor rounded the corner behind her, phase pistol still smoking, the cries of the Mordocks hot on his heels. Mercy grunted, <gasps> I don't get it, Trevor. Why did he spring me from this kill prison? I tried to off you, like seven times. Trevor replied between blasts of his pistol. Because you're the only one who's come close to killing me. Another blast. And you're the only one I can trust. We're going to steal the Starbender prism out from under Prince Argon's nose. Mercy could only smirk. Her fingers were feeling better already. Okay, that's honestly, this game's great just for that. Just for having, like, oh, let's just have a reference to, like, trashy Like <laughs> trashy sci-fi novels, which I think is just fantastic. How much? Oh God, I okay. After I get the leverage thing, I'm absolutely going to uh, increase my carrying capacity. Oh, thanks, Purple. And yeah, have a good night. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, this was fun. Uh, it's as well. Yeah, actually, it's getting kind of a bit longer than I thought I'd be going, honestly. So I think I may kind of end the stream here. But yeah, thanks for coming up. And there you're showing up. Hope you have a good one. You know what? I had a lot of silly adventures and smacking things, so yeah, yeah, this is... You know, it, I got sidetracked a lot, but yeah, that's kind of how these games kind of go, so yeah. Good night.